Hello everybody, my name is Mood Sims. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today we're back with the Not So Berry household and before we get into today's video, I did film off camera and it was a bit of a boring episode so I decided to just scrap it but take out the highlights. So I'm going to show you guys the highlights. So starting off with Jasper. Eve came over right before in prom to ask him to go with her to the prom and here I realized that they both really like each other like really like each other <laughs> and then we went to the prom which was a disaster but here are their outfits here's Phoenix's dress we got Ru mm, Rowan's and Jasper's outfit and then we won prom royalty with Dakota and then you can tell by all this snow that the after party wasn't any better. We then aged Jasper up into an adult but I did not film that and shortly after I aged Jasper up into an adult Eve came back over and asked him to move in with her so him and Eve are now together and they also live with one another. So we're back. Phoenix and Rowan just got back home from school and as you can see Phoenix, I meant Rowan, is in a sour mood so i thought it would do the family some good if we all got out of this house for a little bit because i haven't left the house in quite some time and go and visit jasmine's friend marley and paka we haven't seen them in quite some time and if y'all remember jasmine was pregnant with ruby at the same time marley was pregnant with her twins i don't think i ever introduced marley's kids to you guys like ever so we're gonna go over there and spend some time with them oh gosh we're here in sulani they live in sulani because paka is a mermaid it is heavy rain they're all in the pool i don't want them to get struck by lightning so i am going to change this to sunny because i don't want nobody dying on my watch here are marley's twins the one on the left is maddie and the one on the right is kaden and then paka and marley also have a teenage son the same age as them this is derek and i'm pretty he's a mermaid i did check him out in cast he's a mermaid so i'm surprised his tail's not showing while he's in the water courtney is calling phoenix and she wants to hang out at her place we are gonna decline but we'll see her later by the way this is derek i know you couldn't see his face earlier but here he is they have an amazing compatibility but she just finds him basic looking and he's embarrassed for some reason phoenix thinks he's strong-minded and he thinks she is emotionally expressive Blockfish. oh my gosh courtney's calling us again you want to hang out tonight not right now we will later i promise but I'm gonna have Phoenix get to know Derek a little bit if you catch my drift here <laughs> and did she talk to the twins it looks like dad is putting them up putting them up like they're dogs <laughs> my bad so loyal like a golden retriever it looks like Phoenix just befriended a pet enthusiast pet enthusiast just can't get enough of their animal companions and care a lot about the well-being of fuzzy friends of the world. She likes pet enthusiasts. Yes, she does. That's so sweet. She thinks he's like a golden retriever. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is happening? Is she dying? She just got in the pool. Okay, I don't have asthma, so I don't know. <laughs> If this is accurate, but if you have asthma, do you start having a coughing fit just from getting in the pool? Aw, Marley is so sweet. This is such a wholesome family. They're so involved with their kids' lives. And their oldest son loves his little siblings. Like, I love that for them. All right, it's getting pretty late. I think we're going to go ahead and head home and then I'm going to have Phoenix go out with her friends and Courtney since she wanted to hang out. Okay, so we're here. We are here with our friends. We're here with Daphne, Joelle, Noel. That will never not be funny to me. Um, Bailey, Courtney, Reese. Oh, what happened to Dakota? For whatever reason, I forgot about Dakota, so he's not here. But we're all gonna go across the street and watch a movie. Let's watch 
Princess Cordelia's Pirates? That doesn't sound interesting. But it's a romance movie, so we're all gonna watch it together. Did I ever show y'all what Reese and Bailey look like grown up now? Because they're stunning. Anyway, here's Reese and here's Bailey. They're all inside watching the movie and Ruby's birthday is tomorrow. I cannot believe she's gonna be a child already. They're out of the movie. Let's see, she liked it. Phoenix's heart is all a flutter. The meet cute was adorable. The main character had a great best friend and the montage was really fun. Phoenix will be shipping those actors forever. And Skylar's dipping early. He's like, I have to get out of here. That was horrible. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to introduce our friend group together. And uh, Courtney wasn't so nice to Skylar. I feel like this is a great example as to why you don't mix friend groups with one another. Since it is a late night, I'm having Phoenix do her homework here at the library. I did make it a group activity, but nobody else wants to do their homework. So I guess it's just Phoenix. And it looks like everybody else is leaving, except for Daphne, she's still here. I want to go ahead and get on the serial romantic aspirations. She has to have, like, a boyfriend right now, and then go on- or a boyfriend or a girlfriend, and then go on two dates. And she does have a crush on Daphne, and she's feeling romantic, so why not? I mean, it's just us. Everybody else left. I feel like it's perfect timing if this dang librarian will stop following us. Oh, she sent it. She sent it. She sent it. I think we're going to reveal our crush to her. <laughs> she just revealed her crush to Daphne. She's like, I've had a crush on you for quite some time now. Oh, why is the librarian trying to talk to us? But Daphne left. It's... Oh my god. Leave us alone, please. Please. I'm sorry. We need to get home. It's 2 a.m. So, if you guys remember from last episode... I said I wanted to age up my teens at 13 days because that's the original sim days. So Rowan will also be aging up tomorrow and I will be moving her out. She will be living with Jasper and Eve until she decides what she wants to do with her own life, I guess. But it's coming to an end and I'm so sad. Phoenix is back home from school and I'm having her invite over Daphne so they can hang out and get to know each other a little bit more. Daphne is here. Let's go ahead and invite her in. Oh my gosh, they can already have their first kiss. Is that like too much? But also, I feel like it's right on brand with Phoenix. We'll give her a little flirt and then we'll have her do a first kiss. She's feeling confident, so why not? But I think we're gonna do a mistletoe kiss. Here we go. Attempt mistletoe kiss. Okay, that was very underwhelming. <laughs> Let's do an actual first kiss. So sweet. I feel like this is moving so quickly, but we have to get through this quickly. <laughs> and by the way, if I ever have her like date somebody early on and then we break up, that doesn't mean they can't get back together. But I'm just trying to rush this. So we're going to ask her to be our girlfriend. What just happened? Max skill. <gasps> Phoenix mastered the charisma skill. And throughout the conversation, Phoenix got the impression that Daphne finds her quite attractive, making her wonder if she has the right idea. We got our first kiss. We reached level 10 of the charisma skill and we got a girlfriend all in the span of like 30 minutes. <laughs> She's excited. That's so sweet. Oh, wow. Okay. Teenage love. They're just having the best time seriously jasper get out of the i meant tell me get out of the way so now sh we have to go on two dates which i don't know if we'll do this episode but we'll try but for now we'll just get to know her because we really don't know a whole lot about her phoenix has a massive crush on daphne oh my gosh 
All right, so the birthday party has started. I'm gonna go ahead and get the cake out. Actually, I decided to do food first because I know somebody's gonna get into the cake and it's gonna piss me off. Would like to come over and hang out. Yeah, you're literally invited to the birthday party. Aw, Jasper's here. We love Jasper, but Eve didn't come because Tommy didn't know Eve. So, my bad. We're gonna have Tommy and Jasmine introduce themselves to Daphne since her and Rowan, are, I meant Phoenix, are now together. Tommy thinks she's pretentious, but Jasmine does like Daphne. She thinks she's interesting. And we are gonna go ahead and help Ruby blow out her candles. Oh, there she goes. Okay, quickly quickly add birthday candles hurry and rowan can come blow out her candles tommy get out of the way come on rowan hurry before your sister ages up come on oh gosh <laughs> of course uh a lone wolf no Ooh, vegetarian we'll do vegetarian please blow out your candles Ruby needs to go to the doctor. Why are all their kids sick? Oh my gosh. Um, loves the outdoors. I would say she's a genius. Yeah, I would go to say that. And her trait, she wanted to be a super parent. So that is what she is. And Ruby's gonna go to the doctor and we'll bring Tommy with her. Oh gosh. Ruby also has asthma. Okay, they cannot get away from this. It's literally a curse. <laughs> but before we end today's episode, I'm going to give Rowan a makeover and we will be moving her out. She will be moving in with Jasper. You guys, I feel so stupid right now. I just did like this whole reveal about, you know, here's Ruby and I wasn't even recording. <laughs> so one last time, here is Ruby. And here is Rowan. I kept everything kind of the same because I thought it was still fitting for adulthood. I am gonna have to get some new curly hair CC because I do use the same three over and over again. Here is Rowan. We are going to be saying goodbye to her. She will be moving out with Jasper. I'm going to be moving her in. I already had the whole family say goodbye to her, but because I wasn't recording, you don't get to see that. So sorry about that. But anyway, she's saying goodbye, moving in with Jasper and Eve. All right, you guys, I'm going to be leaving today's episode right here. I think it was a very successful one. We had two birthdays. Phoenix reached charisma level 10, which is one of the requirements we were supposed to have done. And she has a girlfriend. So in the next episode, we'll be going on our two dates and moving forward with her aspiration. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Um, I will see you all in the next one.